obey your mother and father in all that they order you to do if it's not a sin address them with gentleness and manners and stand up for them when they enter upon you protect their reputation dignity money and honor consult them in their work and affairs do not raise your voice in front of them not interrupt them during speech don't lie to your parents and take what they haven't permitted you to take honor them and give them whatever they ask for if they are a guest then sit near the door and watch over their glances it may be that they are ordering something kindly or indirectly do what pleases them without them ordering so because if an order is given explicitly then the degree of happiness will be lessened don't argue with them in a matter and if you are certain with what you are upon they try to persuade them with gentleness and, and if they insistent on their opinion they do not oppose them even if they are wrong don't laugh in their presence if there is no reason to laugh and do not eat the food which is placed close to them and do not extend your hands towards them put before them and don't call your father by his first name and do not stretch your legs out in front of them and do not sit above them while they are sitting below <coughs> and do not sleep nor lie down with they are sitting and don't sit before them don't travel if they don't allow you to and do not scold them if they do something which you dislike and don't try to compete above them in your understanding or reasoning for that it could be allah had granted you knowledge and understanding that you are ignorant of and for some they were to speak and people would laugh at this speech they don't be grieved by it as to their call immediately if they call you and do not walk next to your father on the road rather lag behind little don't accompany the one who is good to his parents and beware of those who are disobedient to their parents